This is everything that I recently thrifted. I just noticed that everything in my haul is mostly pink. This is probably my favorite t-shirt now. It totally reminds me of Regina George in Mean Girls. I was really drawn to these little butterflies. It's so adorable. It just gave me 90s grunge vibes. This one is a little questionable. It just reminded me so much of the 90s. I feel like this is an essential. It was very much giving me Bratz doll vibes. Hello friends, it's Elle and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a little different. I don't normally post fashion related content on here, but I really do love fashion and I want to share some fun pieces that I recently added to my wardrobe. I also just feel like my closet is in need of a serious makeover. I don't feel very inspired when I get ready in the morning. I know I'm a freelancer, I spend a lot of my time indoors in pajamas, but it would be nice to not look like a potato most days. Surprisingly, I don't buy much clothing. Most of what I spend goes towards home decor, rent of course, Patreon, manufacturing products for my shop. So I don't have the biggest budget when it comes to buying clothing, but when I do go shopping for it, I like to go thrifting. I've been thrifting since I was really little and that's because my family didn't have much money growing up, but some of my favorite, favorite memories with my mom was taking the bus to Goodwill on the weekends and going thrifting together. I remember just having the creative freedom to choose whatever I wanted to wear so I feel like that's when my love for thrifting and fashion really began. So I have been doing a little shopping online recently to build my dream 90s Y2K wardrobe and a majority of these things are from ThreadUp. I think one of these things is from Depop but everything is secondhand. I'm not gonna lie though, I did take a peek and I already wore one of the cardigans from this haul because I was too excited and also, I just wanted to wash everything before I tried it on, but for most of these things, this is going to be my first time trying it on and seeing how I like it. So hopefully everything works out and I don't have to return anything, but luckily ThreadUp does have a good return policy. I'll be inserting some try on footage as we go, but let's get straight into the unboxing. I am very excited. I am going to start off with this Depop package because I am the most excited for this one. I don't think I ever mentioned it on this channel, but I freaking love of Lizzie McGuire and Hilary Duff. I grew up watching Lizzie McGuire, so I'm surprised that I don't have any Lizzie McGuire merch at all. So when I saw this t-shirt on Depop, I immediately added it to my cart. It is so, so cute. Anyway, let's open this up because I cannot wait to see what it looks like. Also, this has been sitting in my apartment for the past month, so it's been really difficult to not open this up. Oh my gosh, came with a little note. It says, thank you for shopping with Jack with a little K. Yeah, check out his Depop. He has some really cool 90s clothing and this is the piece that I got. Oh my gosh, it's actually a little smaller than I thought. I feel like this is a kid size. It's from the Disney store, so it most likely is kid size. It's a small, but I think this will still fit me. I feel like it's just gonna be a little bit more cropped on me, but this is so cute and really good quality for something in the 2000s. Like, there's no cracking at all. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Ah, I love this t-shirt. This is probably my favorite t-shirt now. Here's a closer look of the graphic on the front. It has the little Lizzie McGuire character, the logo, some hearts in the back. It's in this really bright pink color. I love it. <laughs> So I'm gonna start off with the only accessory in this haul. I got this pink belt. I just noticed that everything in my haul is mostly pink, but I guess this just would match perfectly with everything in my wardrobe. And the brand of this belt is Talbot. I actually don't own that many belts, so I just thought it would be nice to add one to my collection, especially since I wear a lot of high-rise jeans. But yeah, not much to say about this. It's a really cute color. So this next piece is definitely not summer friendly, especially since it's going to be 110 degrees in my area tomorrow. 
I got a pink puffer jacket and the brand is Juicy Couture. I've never owned anything from Juicy Couture. I remember when I was younger, I was so jealous of my classmates that had Juicy Couture track suits because I could not afford clothing pieces like that. And I probably still wouldn't have been able to afford it now if it weren't for Thread Up. This is such a cute puffer jacket. It totally reminds me of Regina George in Mean Girls. That's honestly the reason why I bought it. It's a pink Viva La Juicy puffer jacket. I'm pretty sure that this is from like the 2000s because I haven't seen a piece like this in a while. The inside says Viva La Juicy. That's so cool. The back has like these little hearts on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. That's so adorable. Honestly, in really good condition. I mean, there's a couple of stains. I hope this isn't blood. I don't know. Ugh. I got this in a size medium, but I feel like when it comes to jackets like this, it's better to go oversized, especially since it'll be the winter time when I wear this and I usually wear like sweaters and thicker clothing pieces underneath so this will definitely keep me cozy later in the year On to my second box. This piece is a skirt. I've been wanting to add more skirts to my closet because I normally wear a lot of pants and jeans and this one is just too cute. I was really drawn to these little butterflies. They just reminded me so much of the 90s. I also really love this pink ribbon detail on the front. It's so cute. I can totally imagine myself wearing this at a concert or like a festival this summer. The brand is Gang Young and I just looked it up. I believe it's an Asian brand and if you look really really closely at the fabric there are some little dragon illustrations throughout so it's pretty cool So this next piece I already wore in a couple of my videos already, but it's this cherry cardigan and it's so adorable. I love anything cherry patterned and I feel like it's just so on brand since a lot of my products have cherries, even my logo. I just love cardigans in general and I feel like this is such a fun one to have in my collection. It's so pretty. The brand is Nika... Okay. Yeah, I haven't heard of this brand, but it is so cute. And instead of buttons, it has this little tie in the front instead. So I feel like this is perfect for the summer. So this next piece is a mesh long sleeve. I have a couple of pieces like this in my closet already, but I just love wearing pieces like this because it's so easy to style. I basically just have to wear a tank top underneath and I'm ready to go. This one has a really cool pattern. It has a scorpion on the front and it just gave me 90s grunge vibes. So I just thought it was really cool. This one actually still came with tags, so it's completely new. And the brand is Kali. It has some like paneling on the sleeves. I don't know the exact terminology for fashion, but it also has the lettuce trims on the sleeves as well. I also really like the colors. It's orange and black. So I feel like this is perfect to wear during the fall, maybe when it's closer to like Halloween. I really like the material. It's really soft and airy. So I could wear this in the summer too, but maybe like at nighttime when it's not triple digits. Yeah, this one's really cool. I like this piece. So I got another pink top and this one is a little questionable. I thought it was really cute when I saw it online. I just really wanted a fuzzy vest. I saw Jay Brecky wear something similar in a photo shoot once. I just thought this was gonna be a lot thicker and fuzzier. It just looks a little bit stringy. I don't know how I feel about it just yet, but I feel like once I style it, I'll know if I like it, but I really like the color. It came in this bubblegum pink color. The next thing I got was a dress and I feel like I'm at a point in my life where 
a lot of my friends are getting married and having kids so I'm attending a lot of weddings for like the next year and I don't own that many dresses so I added this one to my wardrobe it's super pretty I just thought the pattern was so beautiful it has this butterfly pattern throughout it's so pretty it just reminded me so much of the 90s I cannot wait to try this on hopefully this fits nicely oh I just noticed that there's a little hole where the zipper is it's not a big hole so hopefully this should be an easy fix so it's not a big deal but ugh, that's a bummer i really like the material it's super soft i can imagine myself wearing this at like a tea party or running through like a flower garden or something <laughs> got another skirt and this one is just a black pleated skirt i love pleated skirts i just love the whole schoolgirl look in general i have a couple plaid ones in my closet already but i don't have any simple colored ones and this one i feel like it's just a basic that i can basically wear with pretty much anything like a graphic tee or a nice top. Oh, and the brand is American Apparel, which I feel like is such a throwback for me because I used to shop there often during college. I don't even know if they sell clothing anymore, but I feel like this is an essential. The very last thing that I got in this haul is this collared crop top and of course it's pink. I just really loved how it looked. It reminded me of something from the 2000s. It was very much giving me Bratz doll vibes. The brand is Bershka but I think they did a collaboration with this artist named Bad Gyal who I just googled. I think she's a Spanish singer. The tags are still on here so it's completely new. I mostly picked this up because of the color but also I just don't have any Anything like this in my closet. I don't really know how to style this especially because I am not 100% comfortable wearing crop tops so I'll probably wear like a tank top underneath but this is really cute. I like the material. I just noticed that it says bad gal all over it in this little fuzzy texture. There's also this metal closure at the front that says BG. Yeah I cannot wait to style this. So the haul is complete. This is everything that I recently thrifted. It's definitely a lot of pink, a lot of 90s and Y2K inspired clothing pieces, but hopefully this encourages me to put a little more effort into what I wear every day because honestly, I've just been very, very unmotivated. And if I had a choice, I literally would just live in pajamas every day. Yeah, every single piece that I got was really cute. So I can't wait to actually wear these out. Thank you so, so much for watching. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you want to see more fashion related content from me, or if you want to see more thrift hauls, or maybe like a closet clean out. I feel like that one would be really productive, but yeah, let me know and I'll definitely film more videos like that. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone!